Good morning, pilgrims! It is day one of El Camino del Norte. You heard that right. It is 42 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 degrees Celsius, clear skies. What is this, Miami Beach? Feels like not long ago I finished the Camino Portuguese from Porto to Santiago via the coastal route. Can't recommend it enough. I extend a warm welcome to all the new subscribers and if you're a seasoned veteran, right on. After a 12-hour ride on three different trains across Spain, I got to experience El Camino Frances all over again from the point of view of my window. It was just amazing reminiscence about the adventure that I had two years ago. I got to the albergue in Irún half an hour shy of closing time at 9.30. To my surprise, there was another pilgrim 10 minutes behind me. In total, there were eight pilgrims at the albergue. Getting kind of popular, huh? And uh, this morning they started leaving out around 5.30, 6 in the morning. I had breakfast at 7 and I was the last one out at 7.30. Today's stage from Irún to San Sebastián covers about 20 plus kilometers over mountainous terrain. It's kind of like a test of what's coming up ahead. It reminds me a lot of the first day on the Camino Frances from St. John Pied de Port to Roncesvalles with all the ponies and uh, the cattle, the sheep, and all the X's and K's on the names of the towns. <laughs> I split on the road. If I go right, 
it is a kilometer shorter but i had to climb twice as much it's the alpine route i guess you might call it if i go left it will be yeah only about 150 meter of elevation gain it is day one so no need to uh push yourself extra hard especially on a 24 kilometer day so i'm gonna go left and take it easy today see how my body reacts uh, to the mountains plus i still got about 36 kilometers ahead of me over this kind of terrain so let's just go left And the sun came out and so did my uh, fleece jacket. I uh, made a quick stop, stumbled across this rock with a marker and I uh, took off my backpack and I out came my hat. It warmed up pretty fast. Uh, the trail has been uh, quite busy over the last uh, hour or so. I've seen a lot of uh, hikers, mostly day hikers, locals with their dogs. I saw one cyclist. There's no uh, pilgrim support in this stretch other than a few uh, fountains for, to get some water, but nothing for food-wise. So uh, I'm glad I had that breakfast this morning because uh, I left the town pretty quickly out here into the, the countryside. Uh, I've been trailing the city. You can see the industrial section down below. You can hear the cars honking every so often but you can also hear the birds singing so all in all not as hard as i thought it was gonna be but it's not over there's a uh, quite a, a steep decline up ahead to the next town and from there another climb to get to the same altitude so up and down today Finally made it to uh, Pasaya. Check this out. I'm going up this uh, flight of stairs from hell. A real nut buster. Especially after having lunch at a plaza, Santiago Plaza. I had the calamari, fried calamari, 
it was just amazing. I mean, this area, including uh, San Sebastian, is known worldwide for their food. They have a few three Michelin star restaurants. Can't eat in those because I'm sure it's gonna blow my pilgrim budget. Cross this little channel in a boat. Amazing, amazing experience. It only cost me 80 cents, if you can believe that. And uh, yeah, going up these stairs now, I'm sure I'm gonna burn off that beer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lighthouse up ahead and uh, I think I'm about 75% all the way to uh to san sebastian and the alberge and uh, i can't wait to get there So I made it to San Sebastian, a very tourist spot. I was looking for an albergue to stay, and as it turns out, there's one, but it is not exclusive uh, to pilgrims. And as of right now, it is fully booked. So I had no choice but to have some ice cream. <laughs> and also I went on uh, bookings.com and I found a place not far off. Uh, it's a hostel, it's a pension two stars and uh, it's only 30 euros I say only you know versus 10 that I paid last night but at least I get to have my own room and I need to download a ton of footage from today because today was an amazing day I would say one of the best of any pilgrimage that I've done so far it was just spectacular the views were amazing and the drone footage I mean you saw them right so let's head over now to the hostel and uh, take a much deserved shower before heading out to get something to eat. All 
All right, guys, so I finally settled in in the pension that I booked, 30 euros. It's a little bit too much, but uh, you know, I couldn't find anything else. Having a lot of problems transferring all the footage to the hard drive using the uh, Rave Power File Hub Plus. I thought it was gonna work, but it's pretty horrible at the moment. I managed to do the Camino Portuguese with it and barely made it to the end. The last day it took me about two and a half days to transfer the footage. Of course, not all at once. Kept crashing, having problems connecting, disconnecting. So I went to a store, kind of like an Apple store, uh, looking for a hard drive that I could connect an SD card to it and transfer it. And it turns out that they had no clue what I was talking about. But they sent me to another place, like a mega store, and there I got the last one three terabytes, so I should have more than enough. And I also got a, a power bank for my phone since my battery is, I don't for some reason is dying super quick. I guess it's a combination of uh, the low temperatures here and that the phone is almost two years old. So I got those two things, completely went over the pilgrim's budget for the day, but it's okay. I managed to uh, save face somehow. I went to a bar and had something to eat for dinner. I had three pinchos, two fish, one chorizo, red wine, and a cafe. All in all, it was like eight euros, so not too bad. And I think I'm gonna call it a day because I need to go back to my room and go over the manual and see how the whole system works and trying to get it going so that I don't skip a beat. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.